Hi, my name is Dave. I'm a teacher at Treehouse. I teach a course called Ajax Basics. Ajax, or Asynchronous JavaScript and XML, is a way to use JavaScript to talk to a web server, get back a response, and update a web page, all without loading new web pages. This makes your website feel faster and more responsive. Let me show you some examples of Ajax in action. When you first visit Google Maps, for example, the entire page loads with a map, a search box, and a few navigation buttons. If you type a location into the search box, you don't get a new web page. You get a new map, and some of the user interface elements change, but you're still on the same web page. As you drag, new parts of the map appear. You can zoom in, and you can zoom out, and it all happens really quickly. That's because just parts of the page are being updated, thanks to the power of Ajax. Twitter is another website that takes advantage of Ajax. If you use Twitter, you may have noticed that as you scroll down to the bottom of the page, older tweets appear. It's a page that never ends. That's all thanks to the power of Ajax loading more tweets whenever you scroll to the bottom of the page. New content without loading new web pages. Ajax has lots of uses. On the popular entertainment news and social networking site Reddit, users can vote posts up and down, helping to move the most popular posts to the top of the home page. When I click the up arrow on this post, I cast my vote for it. I don't leave the current web page, but my vote is sent to the Reddit server using Ajax. We even do this on Treehouse. In the forums, you can vote for forum responses, vote them up or down. This is a really good response, so I'm going to vote for it. Again, Ajax is used to send the vote to Treehouse's servers.